Train Crew, it's me, Gregory. I am at the North Platte Golden Spike Visitor Center and Tower. I'm currently in the elevator doing an intro for no absolute reason. I tried to do it earlier, but I lost the footage, so I'm doing it again. Okay, so let's get off the elevator. Look at some information. And a tub of water. We slept on old dirty mattresses on the floor. And the rats ran all over our heads and through our hair lots of nights. And we'd wake up screaming. We don't know where our parents were. We never did know. The trains that carried the children out of the city became known as orphan trains. Mrs. Carmen, she never left me for a minute, and she helped me get into bed. And that's when I began to cry, was when the emotion hit me, I think, when I went to get into bed. I still felt all alone, and yet I knew there was someone around me, but they were strangers. I didn't know them from Adam. They had to find homes for those children up there in New York. That was their way of doing it. We could do that now. We could, people were different then. The whole the world was different. They acted different, lived different. And they, they couldn't do a thing like that now. This ambitious relocation effort began back in the 1850s in New York City, a time when 10,000 homeless children prowled the streets in search of money food, shelter. A thousand immigrants a day have been flooding into the city from rural America, from Europe. Work was scarce. Families crowded into shacks and tenements were easy prey to cholera, tuberculosis, and alcohol. The plight of these impoverished children became the obsession of a young minister, Charles Loring Brace. A member of a prominent Connecticut family, Brace had moved to New York City to complete his seminary training. He was horrified by the conditions he saw on the streets. As he wandered through the city, he talked with children, recording their stories in his diary. May 19th, 1854. At dusk, I found a girl in the 6th Street begging. Gave her a loaf of bread and followed her home. This little girl, nine years old, without a bonnet, barefooted and thinly clad, is sent out every day to beg for money. In the evening at 12 o'clock, went down to the coffee cellars for the newsboys congregated. They were not more than 10 or 12 years old, and they had all the manners of old roue, drinking their coffee, smoking, and talking of gambling. This is the 11th ward in the afternoon. Five thousand children crawl the streets of all time. That's nice. That's not the hour of the sleep is crosswalk. The older girls have to get you the
Because of their wanderings, the children became known as street Arabs. Some joined violent gangs. Others survived by selling matches, newspapers, or pieces of old rags. Their numbers are almost incredible, said the chief of police. They are destined for a life of misery, shame, and crime. When mother was dying, she warned me against going to live with strangers. I became a singing girl. People said I had a good voice. I used to sing in the beginning to keep away those sad thoughts. But soon I made use of my voice for a living. There was some cool history, but there was no mystery to go with the history. Let's find the mystery. Find what else? That is a good movie. PBS home video, the orphan trains. Give me. Give me. Here's some information about sizing Union Pacific 4014 big boy locomotive. That's a diesel locomotive. A school bus and a sedan. That's big boy. It's a brown school party shovel. Four zero one four. You're okay, honey. Go ahead. I've already did what you're doing. Now I'm taking pictures. <laughs> Pictures here. Here's how, how high up we are. I don't know if you can see that. That's really high. Train car down there. Zoom in on that for you. Got pictures in the window of train cars. Really cool. And that way down there, that's our car. Way down there. And if we keep going, mosey, 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 mosey over here. Remember that. Here we have dining set from the Challenger locomotive. I thought this was really cool, so I took a picture of it. The pause, and then 
ready for second plate and then excellent finisher. I don't like it, get it out of my face. And here's some of the dishes from the Challenger. There's an egg cup. I like the ice cream bowl myself. I think that's kind of got to be the best part. But I also liked this right there. That That's cool, too. We have a little model railroad. Slanted. This is the engine shed that they have here. The one that they have here is right there. Very big. So here are some engines coming in, getting worked on. All sorts of that fun stuff. Emma is bringing some wheels over. Can I scare it? Some generators. Here's, um, I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. More bays. And then, if I can get it high enough, you guys can see all of that. Very big and very cool. I wonder what you guys see out of this. But you guys could. Can't do it now, though. Thank you, Queenie Bunny. I don't have any money with me. So here is some more train cars. Very cool. Lots of engines getting ready to be worked on out there. Some being already worked on, some not. Yeah. 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 Sure what they have. I like the tables. They got trains moving. They moving, they moving, they moving, they grooving. Where's that other one? I just saw it. There's one leaving. Going to deliver stuff to somebody. Don't know who. Don't know where. Some more pictures over by the layout here for you. Some pictures of some locomotives. Pictures of one, two, three, four, five, six coal trains. That's a cool picture. I think this is a really cool picture of that. Wherever I like that hat. Here's another one, sorry if it's really big, but it's kind of behind it. Down there we have that guy. And over there we've got the tower. That's a cool one too with that train. I think all train pictures are cool though, so. Yeah. I think all of them are pretty cool. There's more information. History. But there is no history. Thank you. 
Here's Bailey Yard. It is very big. There's some humps. There's a giant golden spike made out of wood. Very cool. A train that appears to be made out of wood. I'm not sure. Go first. Here's another picture of Bailey here from the line. Line your road. Here's a controller that you use to control the trains. A vest. Oh, I like these books. They're cool. The cold train next one. Mm-hmm. How many cars do they get on there? 450. Here's another view. Yeah. Usually they're average about 137, 140. But there's, this is... There's a pole. <coughs> Excuse me. Got it. How dare that pole. That naughty, naughty and pole. There's some more uh, trains and a display case for you guys to see. It's a refrigerated car, snow plow, Jordan spreader, some 150 ton steam powered wrecker. Um, we got that. Yeah, we got some steam engines. We got the golden spike driving scene. We got that. We got that. That's a cool one. Snow blowing car, rotary snow plow steam. There's a caboose looking thing, observation car. Here's another one there. Trains keep getting bigger every time I go down. Another train there. And then finally this little train. There's another train down here. And then the CA1 caboose wood. Another one. Little Union Pacific bus. Yeah, one caboose wood. Big boy. So they have to come through here in order to vote. Whoops, never mind. That's the challenger. Sorry. That's the challenger. A semi truck. Union the Pacific. There, down there, is another one. There's Big Boy right there. I actually went to see Big Boy in Fremont, Nebraska. He came on the anniversary run. Very special day. He, I don't know why they call him Big Boy. He's big. So I got to glare. Try to get it out of there for you. There's the dime they talked about in there. We'll contact. That is the web, that's the base. Don't know how to pronounce that one. Got some wheels here. Lots of cornfields. And just all the way down there, as far as you can see, it's just trains. Which, in my case, I think it's awesome. No, he says me because I don't like trains. And I got to tip. Comment below if you have a model railroad. Really, yeah.
or anything about train. Just comment below if you like them. Excuse me. Well, guys, I think that is where I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't already, Hit the like button. There we go. Make a terrible bloom. You can say any dot goodie. That book. If that subscribe button is red, smash it. No, don't actually smash it. Just hit it. Make it gray. And if that bell icon pops up, tap it and go ding. Make sure you never miss out on a brand new video. Never See you guys later. Bye.